Hello there friends. Assalamu alaikum. Hope you all are doing well. Um, I woke up this morning and I was like, I haven't slept properly in six months. A lot has happened in six months, guys. I know I bring up six months a lot, but that's how it is. <laughs> and I was just thinking, like, I miss my slow mornings. So one of the things that was really important and I feel is really important in life is to have slow mornings because it really sets the tone for your day. Um, I always wanted to say for example, if you have to get to work at 10, okay? Uh, you could wake up at 9.15 and you could get ready and get to work. But it's better if you woke up at like 7.30, you know, because and then have a slow morning. You have breakfast, you read something, you do something, you slowly get ready and you get to work at 10. And I know that's like compromising on your sleep, of course. But the thing with slow mornings is, is that you don't wake up in a mind or a mental state that is chaotic. So when you wake up like thinking, okay, oh, I have to get ready and go. The start of your day is basically in a rush. You're already rushed. You're racing and your mind is in a chaos that doesn't even get the time to like think of how you want to spend your day. And I just feel like what it leads to is a lack of control on the sort of day that you're ha going to have. So I used to I used to have slow mornings. I used to love slow mornings. It's about utho, ye karo, wo karo. Do a lot. Like I used to, I used even in like my slow mornings, it wasn't like a oh lie down in bed and scroll. Do things, but do them but be able to do them slowly and like more mindfully and then get to work and then you can, you know. And I just felt that gave me a bigger sense of control on how I want to have my day and my the tone of my day and how it started, it was calm. And that made so much difference in how I lived my life. I felt more control. I felt happier during the day. I had, um, I felt calmer during the day. I felt I achieved more during the day. Um, because my mentally, I was so clear. It just sort of it was a way that helped me overcome a lot of mental barriers but because of but when you start your day in like a chaos and then it's just chaos after chaos and when you get to work you're just like okay now i'm going to sit and think ke, oh maine kya karna hai. it's just you just don't i just didn't end up achieving much maybe that's not true for everyone else so i won't say you i would say i you know and and i just feel like and after having a baby um i did have like a f slow mornings um when I wasn't working but after I started working and being a mom and all that like the 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 slow mornings are just out of my life and to sort of like readjust to this I'm I'm having trouble and it's not because I know it's not because like I of course I have more to do now because now I have to like uh, think about like my baby's breakfast make his breakfast do his breakfast get him ready do his morning routine and then come to work yes I have a lot more to do but that would have been possible. I don't think that's impossible. Um, it's possible to do that in a slow morning as well. But I just don't get enough sleep, you know. And that sleep compromise that I was willing to do before, I'm unable to do that now. Because when so am it's like little windows of sleep. You know, it's like aapki sleep increments mein hoti hai because you have to wake up and you have to feed the baby so it's not like you know you get to sleep in a stretch and you get to sleep have a deep proper sleep i'm waking up every four hours um or five hours and i'm just um i'm never really deep sleeping so that's why the that's why like i end up trying to catch up my sleep more and then I wake up and then I have to do everything and then I'm like oh many weekend I mean so my mornings are like now chaos and I just and I and I'm just trying to sort of I don't know maybe um trying to go back to the same is a bit of a stretch but still trying to find some way of feeling calm because a problem is that I do sort of 
do things slowly still because mujhe wo ek aadat hai of finding that calmness but that makes it just worse because then i'm just late and then i get to work and it's like oh my god chaos you know so i'm just in that phase where i'm trying to find that rhythm that i had in my life back uh you know that i just mentioned ke uh windows mein, like higher thodi der baad like i wake up i realize that when you become a mother your life is in increments like everything do you have a window you have an increment um three hour increment pe aapki life guzarti hai and especially like when in the start it's just like oh you have to feed the baby every two hours and especially when you're best feeding or pumping it's just like you do you just don't have that space you have to pump every two hours and you have to like breast feed the baby every two hours right um so aapki us us window mein whatever you can you achieve you do because after two hours you're going to have to stop so aapki life mein jo ek flow hota hai na वो नहीं रहता बिकॉज यू हैव टू लाइक स्टॉप एंड डू स्टॉप एंड डू स्टॉप एंड डू एंड एंड ऑनेस्टली दैट्स ऑल्सो फाइन बिकॉज आई शेयर दिस विद यू दैट आई लव बींग अ मॉम आई लव एवरी बिट ऑफ इट इट्स ब्यूटिफुल आई हैव इन्जॉयड माई मदरहुड सो 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 मच डिस्पाइट ऑल द चैलेंज दर ब्रिंग्स आई थिंक इट हैज़ ब्रॉट मी अ होल न्यू लेवल ऑफ जॉय आई एम जस्ट टॉक माई माई सेल्फ हेयर so i cannot speak for for all moms because everybody feels differently um when i was just doing mom mom stuff i didn't mind that life you know because that's what i'm doing so even if i'm living my life in increments it's okay maine aur kya hi karna hai main tv dekh rahi thi wo jo mujhe time milta tha ghar ki safai kar leti thi nahha leti thi taiyar ho jati thi but when you have to work as well you know or you have other priorities and other things to do or if you have a load of house chores waiting to be done or just work to be done then it's very difficult because then like you just have this window and you have to figure shit out in that window <laughs> you know so for those who haven't become a mom yet i think one of the challenges that you can expect is to learn how to manage life in increments and windows because it will everything you do will sort of have to have a break in the middle ab ruk jaye ab ab ye karna hai ab ruk jaye ab ye karna hai ab ruk jaye ye karna hai so you can't really plan your life in a flow it's like break 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 and i just felt like when you have to do so much stuff और उसके बीच में आपको हर बार रुक रुक के मॉमी थिंग्स करनी होती हैं बेबी थिंग्स करनी होती हैं इट्स फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग बिकॉज यू हैव टू लाइक स्टॉप अगेन एंड अगेन इट रियली लोअर्स द आउटकम ऑफ वट एवर यू आर डूइंग सो आई फील लाइक आई वॉज डूइंग अ लॉट मोर इन अ डे बट माई प्रोडक्टिविटी वॉज जस्ट गॉन पहले मैं इतना मेरी चीज़ों का इतना ज़्यादा आउटकम होता था मैं ये कहती थी लाइक बिफोर हैविंग अ बेबी आई वुड डू सो मेनी टास्क इन अ डे एंड नाउ इट टेक्स मी थ्री डेज टू फिनिश वन टास्क बिकॉज दैट वन टास्क हैज सो मेनी ब्रेक्स इन इट कि वो तीन दिन में जाके वो एक टास्क प्रॉपरली फिनिश होता है एंड यू नो आई एम स्टिल देयर इवन दो लाइक आई हैव हायर्ड हेल्प फ्रॉम माई बेबी उस तरह से बट ऑबियसली लाइक नो मैटर हाउ मच हेल्प यू हैव यू आर द मॉम एंड लाइक यू हैव टू डू सो मच um and like because of that help is the only reason why i'm here doing these happy chirp episodes and everything else that i've been doing so um and and you know when i started i realized when i started doing other things as a mom i realized ke it affected my um motherhood ness or whatever uh, because it reduced the patience that i had with all the mommy things so main aapko explain kar deti hu ki what i mean by this so when i was when i'm not doing anything and i'm just focused on being a mom and i'm fully present there everything that i'm doing as a mom i have a lot more patience to do theek hai but when i'm trying to nap my child and i'm thinking that i have to do this and that and this i'm frustrated trying to put my child to nap ओके सो इफ़ ही इज़ टेकिंग टू लॉन्ग इज गोइंग टू गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग मुझे भी लाइक ओ फला मैंने ये भी करना है मैंने ये भी करना है मैंने ये भी करना है एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक प्लीज सो जाओ प्लीज सो जाओ बट इफ ऑल आई हैव टू डू इज लुक आफ्टर माई बेबी 
then if my baby's taking long to take a nap it's fine because that's the main thing that i'm doing so it's okay agar usko der lag rahi hai so so this is one thing that i realized that okay just because i have to do other things i cannot start losing patience with my child you know because i did start doing that because i'd be like oh fallah maine bhi ye bhi karna hai khuda ke liye so jao <laughs> you know um so so just sort of and i'm and i'm just sharing this with you guys so that you know that you know that's not fair to the baby and you still have to learn how to have that patience and if there is one thing that i've learned is you have to be patient if if you patient if you have to be a mother if you have to be a happy mother you have to be accepting and you have to be patient and then you will be happy because then you're like it okay this is how it is um things are not in your control so if things are not in your, your control there is absolutely no point of being frustrated with them this cheese or ye cheese to life mein pehle bhi mera ek rule tha ki if something is not in my control i am not going to be frustrated about it um jiski meri life se personally bahut jo ek strong example thi wo ye thi ki main अगर लेट हो रही होती थी ना कहीं जाने के लिए कहीं पहुंचने के लिए और रास्ते में हर सिग्नल रेड है या ट्रैफिक जाम हो गया या रूट लग गया और समथिंग लाइक दैट तो आई वुड जस्ट बीट माई सेल्फ अप ओवर इट आई वुड बी सो फ्रस्ट्रेटेड एंड आई वुड जस्ट बी लाइक क्या बकवास एंड आई वुड गो इन टू दिस हॉरेबल मूड यू नो वर आई जस्ट कुड आई जस्ट बी लाइक यार वाई इज हैपनिंग यू नो एंड गेट सुपर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड and then i realized why am i wasting my energy and emotions over things that are absolutely not in my control and then i with conscious effort started to work on this ke nahi mere control mein nahi hai cheez to maine uske upar apna dimag zaya karna hi nahi hai traffic ho gayi ho gayi turn up the music chill out and just wait you know because kuch bhi nahi aap kar sakte like aap kuch aur kar hi nahi sakte so might as well just um forget about it and just be in that moment and learn to enjoy that moment instead because you know there isn't there isn't much that i can do so shuru mein like being a mom tab bhi mujhe hona shuru tha was like this is not in my control like i have to feed the baby i have to pump i have to put him to sleep there are some things that i have to do so that i will not get frustrated about things that are not in my control um and i think that that really really helped me so um yeah living life in windows <laughs> as a mom uh, having that patience and also being present in what i'm doing right now so like um one like i said you know how you need to be present as a mom uh and i was present as a mom more when that was the only thing that i needed to do um a lack of presence would be ke जो यही वाली बात है कि वन यू आर ट्राइंग टू नाप द बेबी और फीड द बेबी और डू एनी थिंग फॉर द बेबी एंड इट्स नॉट गोइंग एज यू प्लान और इट्स टेकिंग लॉन्गर एंड यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली थिंकिंग कि मैंने लाइक आगे क्या करना है या आगे क्या होना है देन यू आर नॉट बींग प्रजेंट एज सच एंड द ओनली थिंग इट डज इज इट जस्ट इट रूंस दैट मोमेंट फॉर यू इट 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 रूंस दैट uh time for you so it's best to like be present in what you're doing right now make sure that goes well make sure at least that is done properly um because wo jaldi jaldi mein trying to make it work mein it only gets worse <laughs> it just only and only gets worse you know so calmness patience and presence in motherhood will only make everything else in life easier that's what i've learned you know i've been there done that and that's how and now i'm sharing this with you um well i actually didn't plan to make this about uh, all of this but that's where the conversation led to and i thought i could share these ideas uh, i just want to talk about slow mornings <laughs> but yeah so this is um a little bit of my thoughts that i have just decided to share with you um i don't know if like other mothers can um resonate with this or you know but i hope that it does help moms to be or like um other mothers uh because i know that this is something 
we all feel the frustration and the the lack of control that we have on our lives when we become moms and honestly i'm still struggling i'm still trying to find that control uh in my life again but i do believe that this is just a process and i will understand better <laughs> and you will understand better because from the start it has been getting better so i think it is an uphill journey and me and other women like me can maybe figure it out and i also feel like nobody talks about this like you get to hear a lot about like the lack of sleep that you will experience and you get to hear about the exhaustion but nobody tells you about these really tiny details of you know lack of control or the chaos or the everything you know that i just mentioned or the lack of patience and uh, living life in windows and increments um so yeah this is just another perspective that i think was important to give and another reason why i felt like sharing this as well is is ke you know when i was in a mom i felt i i didn't understand like um which is okay like if you're not a mom you can't be expected to understand stuff but what i mean is that there were a lot of people who i saw who had like babies before me and i just after becoming a mother i realized you know i wasn't there for them like i should have been or could have been and there was so much i could have done but i didn't do because like मैंने सोचा ही नहीं यू नो लाइक मुझे समझ ही नहीं आई एंड इट इज़ ओनली वन यू बिकम अ मदर यू आर एबल टू डिराइव दैट सेंस ऑफ एम्पथी और लव फॉर अदर वमेन हु गो थ्रू द सेम और हु आर हु जस्ट बिकम मदर्स एंड यू जस्ट ऑब्वियसली यू नो बेटर हाउ टू बी देयर फॉर दैम एंड आई थिंक दैट मे बी एज वमेन वी can be more supportive of our friends or sisters or cousins or other women in our life or co-workers who become mothers um and try to read up or try to understand how we can be more helpful for them ask them questions lend an ear um help them figure out their state you know try not to give advice because come advice coming from even other mothers let alone somebody who's never been a mother is just um plain annoying probably um but just be there just show that you are there and just show that you acknowledge the fact that their life has changed acknowledge that it's not going to be the same acknowledge that you understand that things are different Uh, um that you can't expect them to be the same and that you understand that change you know so that effort that you can make can go a long way and i realized this like only after becoming a mother oh my god like how i was just so absent like so clueless <laughs> you know when all these people became mothers i'm like i was just so clueless about how i could potentially have been there for them so yeah i guess that's it for today um i know that maybe a lot of you don't like the fact that i talk about motherhood so much but it's just something that is so relevant <laughs> to my life right now and i and just bear with me stick with me there are a lot of things that i do want to talk about uh and trust me i will talk about and i would love if you guys leave me some feedback it makes it so much easier for me to talk about things you know like um when you leave feedback then i'll be like take okay, you know i'll talk about this today and obviously i do want to address other things as well and i will don't worry <laughs> don't leave <laughs> and uh but, but also like i know that i have an all female audience um and i do want to educate women here who are not mothers but who plan on becoming mothers uh, about all of these things and i just because you know what i wish that somebody educated me i mean alhamdulillah i i really really educated myself but but like i wish that um you would also and i wish that you would be interested in these things because um 
it would impact your life you know so yeah i will share more bear with me i do plan to and i'm not saying oh maybe in like three months when no <laughs> no instantly in the next few episodes um i'll try to address as many other things and aspects of life my life as possible but i do honestly appreciate the fact that you and my audience sees that i have been through uh something and i obviously have that um identity issue where i see myself more of a mother uh than anything else i do plan to be more inclusive of my female audience that is not mothers that does not even plan on becoming mothers and that's completely fine so i do not wish to alienate you <laughs> just putting that out there so thank you so much for tuning into this podcast um i appreciate it so much um the fact that you listen to me talk here the fact that i get to connect with you the fact that i'm just sometimes able to like went um it means a lot so please stick around uh i have a lot of plans for happy chip i plan to make it better i plan to grow uh it's all a process uh i'll see you again next time inshallah and on thursday with a guest uh so please stick around and allah hafiz